if we look at the built environment, it's responsible for 40 to 50 percent of the greenhouse gas emissions. And if we want to get to certainly a position of net zero and getting there quickly, we've got to decarbonize the construction sector. We are living at a very interesting period in time. The way we live and the activities we do have consequences. So I'm Sean Fitzgerald, the director of the Centre for Climate Repair at Cambridge. IPCC AR6 made it absolutely clear that even under the most aggressive or ambitious emissions reduction scenario, we exceed one and a half degrees C. We can't cope with that. We've got to do more than that. So I believe that future careers will be looking at exciting things such as aggressive greenhouse gas removal approaches. My name is Tersha Janssen van Buren and I'm a research associate at the Langer Rock Centre for Construction Engineering and Technology. And if we look to kind of new careers within construction, then we need people who are skilled at evaluating the materials in the building. We need people who are going to um, dismantle the materials and then to refurbish the materials properly and certify them and when we need resellers. So all of those elements, there's new careers involved in that that we, that we need. I mean, I think the world is so exciting for young people right now regarding future careers. Whether you're interested in politics, whether you're interested in social change, whether you're interested in science, all of these are necessary as we move forward into decarbonising the world. The need for the transdisciplinary approach, it's very crucial in trying to tackle you know, cross-cutting complex emergencies like climate change. So my name is Gabriel Okello, uh, Prince of Wales Global Sustainability Fellow in Air Quality and Non-Communicable Diseases. For the African cities context, it's very important to include uh, young people along this process. It's very key to for their views to be heard, for their views to be incorporated in uh, all these innovations, in these policies. So if we are serious, about having these changes, if we are serious about transitioning, then we should invest in skilling the young people, in creating awareness within society. I am very hopeful. I am very hopeful. I am very hopeful. I think I do have hope that, um, especially with the, with the younger generation coming in, they are not afraid to take a stand um, and, to, uh, and to stand up for what they believe. And that needs to translate all the way through to to their careers. The advice I would give young people is to try and follow their heart in terms of to do something that they really are inspired by and feel that they're making a really meaningful contribution uh, to society. Because if you are inspired, then you, you can change the world.